To what's up? I match the vag. And I've got a secret. I'm harboring a fugitive, but he's about to escape. That's right, I'm nine months pregnant, and I can have this baby any day now. But let's hope not today, because I am not quite ready yet. I've got a lot to find out, and I love to spread the knowledge. What should I bring to the hospital when it's time to pop the baby out? Ooh, what should you bring? Um, uh, like a, a great playlist? You should definitely have a outfit for the baby for when they come home. I mean, you haven't drank, so just like your favorite alcohol. Full bar, full, full bar. bar. Um, what DJ. Else? Yeah, just have a nightclub of it. Makeup and like whatever you need for your hair, obviously, because Instagram photos. <laughs> So let's examine you and let's see how you're doing. I'm gonna have Great. you lay back. All right. So just like our last visit, I like to measure the bottom of your abdomen to see where your pubic bone is. And then I wanna feel the top of your uterus, which is where the fundus is, and see how it's growing. It's definitely grown since our last visit and you look like you're right where you should be based on how many weeks you are. Well, he is moving like crazy in there. Good, we it's like movement. It's a good um, thing, okay. Yeah, you should have at least, you know, 10 movements every one to two hours, whether big or small. Mm -hmm. And if you start noticing that it's less than you're used to, that is something to let your doctor know. Some things you can do prior to calling your doctor, drink something cold, eat something sweet, get whatever right. position he normally likes you to be in for him to move. And if those things don't work, that is a reason to let your healthcare provider know. So I'm gonna help you sit back up so oh. we can get in a comfortable position. Oh, right. Well, when the heck should I have a birth plan in place? And what should I be thinking of when it comes to my birth plan? Medicine, no medicine. What should I wear? You know, should I be having makeup on? Do I need a photographer? Like, what's my plan? So you want to think about your birth plan from the very beginning, because part of that includes what provider you choose, whether you want to go with a midwife or whether you want to go with a doctor, what type of hospital you'll be using. Do they have an option for a water birth, if that's something you would like? Do they have showers that you can use, wireless monitors so you're able to move around? Some women that don't want to have pain medication, the ability to ambulate or move is really helpful to them. Do they have the medicine balls for you to use to bounce on during labor or do you need to bring your own? Um, and then for your own plan, are you planning on having medication for, I would say more for pain control. Um, most hospitals have an anesthesiologist in-house 24 hours a day that can talk to you about different options for an epidural um, versus IV pain medication. And then, you know, when it comes to the type of delivery, um, if there's any certain positions that you're planning on trying, what's safe for you? I didn't even think about the bouncing. I would love to have a bouncy castle in my room if possible. That would be so much fun. As far as positioning, is something like this okay? As long as your legs are able to open, open. more. Open, okay, that, the legs have to yeah, open. Yeah, and lay back, that would help. Got it. Yeah. So how spot on is my due date? So we do call it an estimated uh, date, but it's pretty accurate as long as your periods are accurate and we know the, the length of your cycles. So we do give you a range, um, but 40 weeks, it's pretty accurate of your due date, but that doesn't mean baby's gonna come at 40 weeks. That just means that that is the amount of time from when you conceived baby until when we consider the likelihood of delivery happening. Okay. But your baby's considered term even starting at 37 weeks. It's just an early term. Well, thank you, Dr. Bartolot. I've learned a lot. Everything's still up in the air and everything's still in the uterus, but I'm looking forward to him popping out. It's great. Just get ready and get excited because it's gonna happen any day now. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm about to have a beautiful baby and I can't wait. Thankfully, I have done this once before, but uh, I'm a bit rusty down there. Literally. I'm so grateful for Dr. Bartolot and to you too for just joining me on my little journey. It's been super helpful to me and I hope it's been useful to you too. Oh, and remember, if you wanna know more about what's going on with baby, check out my friend Prego Nancy. I match the veg. And if you have any questions or comments, put them in my box, my very crowded inbox that is. And don't forget, check me out on TikTok. <laughs>